welcome to the next episode of Decants with D. Today we have something very special in store for you. We are moving down south to Argentina and we are talking and drinking about Malbec wines. I am Dietmar Ostermann and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Follow me along. Malbec grape goes excellent with steak. A skirt steak, a flat steak, a porterhouse steak, even a burger. So tonight we're gonna do a tasting of steak together with the Malbec wine. From the local Long Island butcher. We're gonna give it some three, four minutes either side and then we will be in business. The Malbec grape came originally over from France to Argentina. And back in the 19th century when Argentina wanted to grow the wine industry, they asked France whether they could borrow the Malbec grape and they brought it to Argentina. And Argentina made Malbec the global superstar that this wine is today. I have here prepared for you four top-notch but very affordable Argentinian Malbecs. So the Malbec grape is a dark purple grape it's uh, grown in high altitudes in uh, Argentina, near the Andes Mountains. And it's a fresh grape, a fruity grape. So uh, it has a fair amount of tannins which allows it to age. But it's also a tannins that because of the high altitude and the cold nights, it's not as bitey. So the, you can drink a Malbec wine young and you can drink it five years old or 10 years old and it ages up to maybe 15 years. A reserva has to be put away for a year. A grand reserva put away for two years, mostly in French oak. And uh, there's a minimum requirement of 80% Malbec grape in a Malbec from Argentina. All right, let's dive into those four wines that I selected. The first one is a 2016 Luigi Bosca. This wine is rated 4.1 on Vivino and it costs $20. I have my Italian masterpiece of equipment to open up these bottles. It never fails. And then as typical, I have my cock owl with me. Cock owl. Because I drink Argentinian wine young, I don't need to decant it. So let's dive right into the Luigi Bosca 2016. First thing I notice is a beautiful, brilliant red color, a little bit see-through, very shiny, very nice appearance of this wine. It has great legs on the glass. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Extremely fruity. Red fruit, cherry, all that in the aroma. It is almost uh, breathtaking in the nose. Let's give it a whirl. Beautiful on the palate. A very well-balanced wine with a lot of expression of red fruit. I like it a lot on the palate. In the last step when I swallow it and try to experience the finish, then it's a little bit harsh, which is probably because 2016 has still a lot of tannins left and the wine can easily go another two or three years, maybe even four. But overall, a great wine. I would easily give it also a four to 4.5 on Vivino. 
All right, let's empty out the glass for the next wine. The next wine is the Phoebus Reserva Malbec. Also from Medosa, Argentina. Medosa is this high wine growing region that is west of Buenos Aires, the beautiful capital of Argentina. They call it also the Paris of South America. And quite frankly, the Mendoza region is much closer to Santiago de Chile because it's almost over there all the way to the Ant mountain range by Santiago. So let's open the second bottle. As you have seen me before, I use a little bit of the new wine to clean out the glass. That way we don't need to wash it out with water. Water and wine don't go well together. And that way I also don't have the taste of the former wine in the glass. So this is the Phoebus, also from Mendoza, Argentina. Color very similar. It's a dark ruby red, very brilliant color, beautiful, nice legs. So this indicates again, a very good solid wine with some tannins left. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Oh, this one has more black pepper in it, but I still smell in the aromas, the, uh, the red fruit, mostly cherry. Let's give it a whirl. Brilliant. So this wine still has a very elegant palate, dark red fruit, but then when you swallow it, it actually unfolds very nicely. Not as quickly and harsh as a Luigi Bosca. The Fibos has much more of a longer lingering finish. I like it a lot. And this wine, ladies and gentlemen, 3.6, no, excuse me, this one is 3.7 on Vivino and cost a legendary 11, legendary $11. That's it, $11. Okay, next contestant, contestant Grafigna. Pokal. The Grafigna has a long, elegant red bottle. It's also a 2016 Marbeck. And by the way, in case you notice, and you can probably see this from there, every single Marbeck bottle is a little bit different in shape. This Gafinha is significantly thinner and taller, whereas the Luigi Bosca has about the same size, but is wider. The Fibers is much smaller as a bottle. I only noticed it as I prepared for the wine and for the discussion in the video, because typically in every wine region you go, the bottles are standardized and pretty much the same size. So let's uh, check this Grafinha out further. As an elegant red capsule. I like this bottle visually a lot. I like the thin tall bottle with a white label and uh, the elegant G on the bottle plus the red top. Goes right into the quok owl. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 2016 Grafinja. I'm cleaning out the glass real quick and give myself a nice little pour here. Okay, the color, Ghana and Brilliant Red, no difference to the other two contestants, probably a tick lighter in color. Nice legs again, indicating good tannins. Very pleased with the looks of this wine. Also very pleased how the bottle looks. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Deep, dark red fruit aromas. A little bit of black pepper. 
maybe some licorice. Let's give it a whirl. Another great wine. Oh boy, this is getting complicated. This one has a little bit more tannin still on the tongue. So my tongue contracts while I'm filling out the mouth with this wine. Still very nice cherry fruit flavors, a little bit of black pepper, elegant wine. Probably goes better with food than drinking it without food. And by the way, we will have food here in a minute. And then the finish is shorter. Almost as short as the Luigi Bosca, not as long as the Phoebus. Okay. We are moving to contestant number four. This one is the Mascara Vineyards. I have here 2015, so this is one year older than the other three. Mascara, also from Mendoza. They have multiple wines. Some of them are called Le Mascara. This one is the Grand Mascara. If you buy this wine, I want you to buy the Grand Mascara. It's better than the regular Le Mascara. Okay, Italian master piece of equipment. Opens this bottle with ease. On this bottle, I enjoy the smaller shape and the wider shape that makes it uh, very sturdy looking. Bocal. And I like the conservative beige label with the black and the golden writing on it. So from the outside, very nice conservative look. I like that for my wines. Let's pour out the glass a little bit with this wine. Okay, here we go. Moscata. A darker wine. The color clearly is darker than the three other contestants. Still has this brilliant ruby red look. Creates huge legs on the glass. You can probably see them from far away. A beautiful looking wine. Looks stronger in the glass than the other wines. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Deep aromas of black fruit and red fruit. A little bit of pepper and earth in it. Next step in my process, let's give it a whirl. Mmm, fantastic. This one has strong cherry fruits in your face, in your mouth. Explosions of fruit, much more than the others. A strong wine, but it does still have a little bit of tannins in there. And um, that tells you this wine can easily sit in the bottle for another year or two or three and will be at its prime then. It has, in my mind, the strongest potential. Right now, drinking it today, I like the Fibos a little bit better, but uh, I'm, I'm thinking that a year from now, two years from now, the uh, Gran Mascara will be excellent. Okay, we had four contestants here. They're all very, very formidable contestants. This last one, the Gran Mascara, was rated 4.0 on Vivino. And again, ladies and gentlemen, 18 dollars. The one we had before, the Grafinia 2016, rated 3.6 on Vivino, $12. So literally, we have here four wines that I all like, all four of them I like, that are all of them under $20, some of them as little as $11. My number one favorite here, the Grand Mascara. My number two is the Phoebus. My number three is the Grafinha, and my number four, still very good, very recommendable, the Luigi Bosca. We have a little bit more in store for you because now I'm getting my steaks.
we're actually trying the Grand Mercado together with the skirt steak that we just grilled. That is when the interaction of that Marbeck wine is at its best. Peggy, Buren, why don't we try it? Excellent. If you like this video, please follow me on Vivino and also on my YouTube channel, press like and subscribe. Until next time, buenos dias amigos.